Well, there's been a busy week of collapses here in this country. And this time, it's here in Fort Lauderdale, where I live. I'm about 25 minutes north of this. So a section of a crane came crashing down on, onto the 3rd Avenue Bridge there in Fort Lauderdale, just south of Los Olas Boulevard, right near downtown, near the court, near the jail. Here's the scene here. You can see it. And there was only two minor injuries in the cars on the bridge. Of the bridge, we're working on the crane. It was not the crane per se that actually failed. It was a platform that they had equipment staged on that had failed at the time of the incident. And those items fell from uh, up on the building down onto the bridge below. I mean, Fort Lauderdale, this is my stomping ground here. This is where I go all of the time. In the courthouse right across the canal from where this accident took place is where I've gone many times when I've bought foreclosure properties and I have to go down there to pay cash and deal with the deeds and settle up with the county and all of that. Now, this is some witness video shot by a Fort Lauderdale realtor, Jason Taub. This was literally seconds after it happened. You can still see the dust and everything going on there from the collapse. Now, there's the entire scene. There's the whole crane there, and it fell from the upper part of that crane, bounced off the edge of the building, and then bounced twice on the bridge. And it's amazing how nobody in those cars was severely injured, and those cars that are right next to it, they must be thinking they're lucky stars right now. The police haven't even arrived here at the scene yet at this point, and there they are. They're just now showing up here. And then he shot this second video here about a minute or two later as the police are arriving and the scene is still kind of fresh he's going to go up and focus on the crane and you'll see where the platform is kind of bent down there you see that that's where the section of the crane fell from here was another video posted on tiktok of the scene shot from the condo right next to the bridge there look how closely it missed that school bus by you can hear all of the emergency vehicles approaching too I mean, what an unbelievable sight. Look how many cops were just shooting in from all over the place. They were streaming in left and right. And it's unbelievable to me how close that school bus came to getting hit by that crane section. The worker fell down over here. This is a pretty huge response you can see there, and it even goes up a few more blocks beyond this. Just unbelievable that nobody in that black car was seriously injured. I mean, that looks like somebody would not survive it at all. Right, so here, their camera is panning back towards the crane. The crane's right here, and I believe the platform, if they go back down, it was down below. So I believe the platform in question was right there that collapsed. And it fell all the way down here. Glanced the corner of this building here, which is which is what made it bounce out to the bridge down below. And cast, that's the name of the contractor right there, cast construction. So they're the one that we're going to see has some uh, violations from OSHA. And the worker fell here. Okay, they're going to zoom in for a nice tighter shot here. This, I think, is where the platform was that collapsed. Here's the crane. This looks like an electric. So what they were doing was sectioning it, and when you section it, you jack the crane up a little bit, and you slide in the next section. And then the crane pulls itself up to the top of that section. So each time you add new floors, that's what you do. So this looks like the collapse part of it right there. There's the hole in the street right there where it, where this section of the crane first hit here. And then it bounced about 30 feet and came over here to rest on top of this car. I mean, just look at that. Can you imagine being the driver in that car and seeing that thing coming crashing down on you? So now I think they're going to try to zoom in closer to the platform. And they're going to use this very crane to rescue that piece off of the bridge at night. See, this is, I think, what they were talking about here. Something doesn't look right in this spot right there. Here's an excerpt from a video from Ari Open Chris where he zooms into the platform. 
they were building the crane. They were, they were they, doing something with the crane. They were they, adding pieces. To adding it. pieces to it. And then I went back to work, and 20 minutes later, all of a sudden, I just heard a loud bang. Now here's a lady here, Instanet girl, who has an account here on Instagram. And she apparently lives in the building right in front of it. And talk about having the perfect isometric angle to view this crane collapse from here in Fort Lauderdale. Now, let me show you something interesting. You might not have noticed it by looking at this picture. What happened was this blue piece of the crane dropped from probably 20, 25 floors up. So the crane probably started somewhere around over here off the screen, upper left a little bit to where you see my cursor. And then it hit the corner of the building probably somewhere around here and then flew straight down to the bridge here. And it actually, I don't know if it hit the bridge first and then the Tesla crashed into it or what, but it left this gaping hole right here on the bridge. Now, if you notice, look underneath the bridge. That's where all of the concrete shot to the street below. So that was pretty interesting. And then, so it hit here and bounced up and then landed on top of this car. And it's amazing the people in this car weren't killed. I heard there was just a couple of minor injuries there. And so there's another close-up shot she got of the scene there. I mean, just totally shocking scene to look out your patio to see this. Now, here's the side of the building. This is the part of the building that I believe that crane had hit when it was falling. I think it hit here and bounced off because the crane is actually way up here off to the left. So there's the view of the entire building. So what I think happened is they were stepping the crane they were hoisting up the sections, and they were probably right up here. You'll see later on in a close-up shot, I believe the platform that failed was up here in this area. And so it fell down, hit here, boom, and then down onto the 3rd Avenue bridge. So here's a close-up of it, and I believe this is the failed platform they were talking about. Now, the fire chief didn't have much information. He was, he was not able to tell us whether it was attached or what was going on, but apparently they had a platform set up here that was holding the sections, and a construction worker fell down with that piece and, of course, did not survive. Now here, the Fort Lauderdale Sun Sentinel got a great picture here showing the damage on the corner of the building where the section of the crane fell down. And if you look up the crane towards that red section, you'll see the ruined platform kind of dangling there. They also got this shot here looking north up the 3rd Avenue Bridge from the courthouse side. And here's a nice drone flyover shot here showing the scene. And then just take a look at all of these emergency vehicles. And remember, it goes up for about three blocks as well. So now you can see in this area right behind where the reporter is standing, that fenced-in area, that's where the construction worker fell. And you can see the existing blue section behind her there. And then there it is again from the above. Now, this is a great shot of the platform right there. So I want to just take a minute here to show you what was going on. So these cranes, I know a lot of you wonder, how do these cranes erect themselves? What they do is they call it a stepping up process. This video was shot 20 minutes before the accident, and you can see that the platform is still intact which this cell phone video shows just moments before it fell. And they erect the platform there. They put the next section of the crane on that platform and they slide it in and then the crane crawls up from there vertically. So something happened to that platform. I don't know if it was improperly attached or what, but you can bet somebody's going to get in trouble for this because something like this should just never happen. And you will see in just a minute in our video why this bridge can't reopen tonight. Over here, you'll see some crews on the bridge blocking it off, making sure no one can get on. Well, it hit hard enough to poke a hole there in the pavement there on the bridge. Seven Sky Force above the bridge over the New River, showing the damage left behind after a chaotic collapse. We're getting an update. There reminds me of a piece of crane fell on a vehicle. If you can believe it, they appear to be using the very crane mm -hmm. from which that piece fell right now to lift it up into the air. <coughs> Andrew's getting you a shot of it right now, and it's adjacent to a red-colored tow truck. Uh, that was on the truck for a moment, then they decided to use that crane, and you can see it right now uh, being used to, I, I can tell you that they look to be potentially putting that down on the ground in the area of the construction site. This is the blue steel crane down on that bridge. We can show you video of it as we got here to this condominium that's adjacent to the bridge. 
just to the north of it. You can see what that crane piece looked like as it was down still tonight on that car. Hear a lot of commotion, crash. We heard the air horn go off. Another live look at the crew downstairs, 34 stories beneath where we're shooting this video live. It appears they have been able to successfully placed the piece of crane down onto the ground. It's surrounded now by workers who were out here trying to remove it first from a car, then from a wrecker, and then onto the ground. And you're looking now at just how close this large crane is to the building where we are. It's just on the other side of that bridge. And here we are late at night. Here is the patch they put on the bridge overnight. When that section of the crane crashed into the bridge, it made this three foot wide hole and look what it did to all of the rebar. So they're going to have to re-engineer this. And here is the aerial view of the patch over that hole on the bridge. And it's a big steel plate. When that vehicles go over, it serves as a temporary deck to spread the load out. It's just a temporary fix until a permanent one can be made. Temporarily until we can design and install the permanent repairs. The bridge is fully functioning for both vehicular and boat traffic. So now I'm searching the OSHA database for any violations from any of these contractors involved. If we look up Cast Construction LLC, which Channel 10 reported as the contractor, you can see they had seven violations in uh, the past you know, four years or so. The only one that was really serious was uh, some of these don't show what was going on, but here's one that shows the penalty was $15,000. And this was, uh, you see these a lot too, the unprotected walking by the edge of a building that's six feet or more above a lower level. They weren't protected from falling. So there was no safety nets or railings or anything. That's quite common. But nothing, none of these is from this particular construction site where this crane collapsed. But nothing here is from this particular construction site where this section of the crane fell off of the building. When we check Phoenix rigging, we don't get any results. Maxim Crane, on the other hand, has boat loads. Let me see if there's anything in relation to this job site. They're big. I mean, they're all over the country, so that was up in Washington. So the only two that they had here in Florida, let me see where this one was at. It's probably not at this site. This was up in Sanford, which is near Orlando, and the case was closed. The other one here was also up in the Orlando area, and they're not saying what it was, case closed, but they have violations in many different states. This is in downtown Fort Lauderdale where all of the corporations, the big buildings are. And, and it's really a small area where all of these big buildings are. But it's near Broward and Federal Highway for those of you who know the area. And then of course, this is the famous Los Olas Boulevard where all of the, the shopping district is and all the very wealthy elite live over in this area. But the bridge that we're talking about is right here. It's the Third Avenue Bridge. This is the construction site. Now, now there's a building there, a 25 story building there. This is an old satellite photo on Google Maps. And and so some of the witness video was shot from this building here and also from this building across the way looking this way. So this is the bridge and the collapse, the crane section fell off of the crane and landed right here on the bridge. And of course, this is the old courthouse here. And here is the parking for the jury duty. I've parked there many a times. And then this is where I used to go to do my dirty deeds with the deeds when I did the foreclosures and then the Broward County Jail is right here and I always thought it was odd that they would put it right here in the middle of all of this fancy stuff where the mega yachts are. What if somebody escapes and just hops on a mega yacht? Also of note here is Auto Nation headquarters is over here. Yeah, the old Blockbuster headquarters used to be right here. Wayne Huizenga, the billionaire owner of the former owner of the Miami Dolphins had an office in here and the park here which used to be called Boobier Park is named after him. So that's the area we're talking about here and in fact hey you can see Wayne Huizenga's old mansion here. He passed away a few years ago, but this was his mansion here. This was one of the largest waterfront properties in all of Fort Lauderdale. And all of this leads out to the Port Everglades. And speaking of ports, you know, we did those videos on the Baltimore bridge collapse last week. And you can see we're never going to have a bridge collapse here in Fort Lauderdale because the ships here, when they leave the Port Everglades, they just head straight out here. There's no bridge or anything. So we will never have to worry about that happening here. Well, if you're enjoying this video so far, you're definitely going to want to check out this video here that I did on the FIU bridge collapse analysis. And then you're also going to want to check out this one here on the Baltimore bridge collapse that happened last week. So anyway, thank you for joining us tonight and we'll see you on the next one.